Do you know me? Most people don't. And that's why when I travel, I always carry one of these with me. It's not just a router, it's a complete internet gateway. Find out what that means and why you need one right here, right now in Dave's Garage. Hey, I'm Dave. Welcome to my shop. I'm Dave Plummer, a retired operating systems engineer from Microsoft going back to the MS-DOS and Windows 95 days. Today, we're diving into the Spitz AX 5G Wi-Fi 6 Cellular Gateway, a game-changing device for travelers and home tech enthusiasts alike. With advanced features like multi-WAN, load balancing, and automatic failover, the Spitz AX ensures that you can stay connected whether you're in a bustling city or at a remote campsite. It could be Starlink, cellular, Wi-Fi, or cable service at a campsite, and the Spitz AX Gateway pulls all of those connections together to offer you a single point of connection that just works in as many environments as possible. As you travel to new environments, like a new hotel, or as your environment changes around you, the Spitz AX seamlessly adapts to keep you connected almost no matter what. By the way, this is not a sponsored episode, no money changed hands, and with a product line that starts at about 79 bucks, it's not like GLINet is giving away a lot of swag. But it's a cool product that I didn't even know existed before I learned that I had to have one, and I thought you might have a similar reaction. So here we are. Now, we've looked at simple travel routers in the past, but the Spitz AX takes it to an entirely new level, adding dual cellular SIM support, which allows you to have a domestic and international SIM installed at the same time. Dual cell SIM support on the Spitz Gateway is a feature that offers incredible flexibility and reliability, making it indispensable for both international and domestic travelers. Imagine you're traveling across the country in your RV, moving from one state to another. With dual SIM support, you can switch between carriers effortlessly, ensuring you always have the best possible connection without any downtime. Now, picture planning an international trip or perhaps a cruise to several countries. You want to stay connected without incurring hefty roaming charges. Dual SIM functionality allows you to insert a local SIM card for data while keeping your home SIM active for calls and messages. This not only saves you money, but also provides you with the best data rates available in the country you're visiting. You won't have to juggle between SIM cards manually or worry about losing connectivity. I took the Spitz AX on a Mediterranean cruise last month, and while I was still at the mercy of the cruise ship Wi-Fi when I was out in international waters, I simply connected the gateway to the ship's Wi-Fi and then my phone, laptop, iPad, and all my wife's gear also connected to the gateway. As far as the ship knew, I only had a single device. And when we pulled into a port or sailed near a coastline, the 5G cellular support would automatically kick in using the international SIM card. While 3,000 other guests fought over the shared satellite uplink going back to Florida, I had a hot pipe to my fast 5G internet all of my own. This feature is also a lifesaver for those who frequently travel between urban and rural areas. In cities, you might have a reliable connection with your primary carrier, but as you venture into the rural regions, service can become spotty or the signal weak. Having the ability to switch to a secondary SIM that offers better rural coverage ensures that your internet connection remains stable, allowing you to stream, work, or stay in touch with loved ones without interruption. This is particularly true if you notice your phone switching carriers often or moving from 5G to LTE support. Moreover, dual SIM support enhances the reliability of your internet connection. If one network fails, the Spitz AX can automatically switch to the other SIM, providing seamless connectivity. This can be especially important for certain tasks, whether you're on a business trip needing constant access to emails and conference calls, or simply trying to enjoy a worry-free vacation. Speaking of which, as a dad, I'm the official Wi-Fi tech in the house. And with four kids, each of whom has a phone, an iPad, maybe a laptop, or a Steam Deck, that's a lot of Wi-Fi. When we go on vacation, many venues limit you to one or two devices per room. But with the Spitz Gateway, you connect it alone and then your whole family can join the new private Wi-Fi that it provides out. Better yet, once those devices have all joined the Gateway Wi-Fi once, it works on every subsequent trip. What it all adds up to is not having to do a bunch of Wi-Fi tech support on vacation, and that can be priceless. In essence, the dual SIM support transforms the Spitz AX into a versatile and robust travel companion. It adapts to your needs, whether you're navigating through different carrier zones domestically or exploring new countries. The ability to maintain a reliable and cost-effective internet connection wherever you are truly makes this feature a standout, ensuring that you stay connected no matter where your adventures take you. It's important to note that the gateway only has a single modem, so only one SIM can actually be active at a time, but you can control which one with a simple drop-down option in the gateway's user interface. That modem itself is a Qualcomm SDX62 offering top-notch 5G mobile network performance. It supports global 5G to 3G multi-mode, making it versatile for international travel. 
Plus, it comes pre-installed with OpenWRT, which means robust open-source firmware right out of the box that's lovingly maintained. Long story short, it's a more capable 5G modem and will help future-proof you as 5G support expands and evolves nationwide. Well, the only thing I think it doesn't support is millimeter wave 5G, but that's generally only an option in super dense environments like stadiums where you're unlikely to be taking your gateway with you anyway. But it'll still work, just not optimally. One of the standout features is the 2.5 gigabit WAN port, ensuring blazing fast wired connections. It also supports WAN connections with Starlink, so you can tap into satellite internet when traditional networks aren't available. The 5G side max theoretical performance is just over 3 gigabits and the LTE max is just over 1 gigabit. Wi-Fi performance is stellar with Wi-Fi 6 offering speeds up to 574 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band and 2.4 gigabits a second on the 5 gigahertz band. And that's why it needs a 2.5 gigabit WAN port. VPN users will appreciate the support for OpenVPN with speeds up to 150 megabits per second and WireGuard up to 300 megabits per second. Additionally, AdGuard Home is pre-installed for enhanced online privacy and security, and of course, ad blocking. Multi-WAN is an important feature of the Spitz Gateway that enhances the reliability and performance of your internet connection by allowing the use of multiple internet sources simultaneously or in a failover configuration. This is particularly beneficial for travelers who need a stable and robust internet connection regardless of their location. Imagine you are on a road trip in your RV moving between areas with varying network coverage. With multi-WAN, you can connect to multiple internet sources such as 5G, Wi-Fi, Starlink, all of them at the same time. Then, if one of your connections drops, the router will seamlessly switch to another connection ensuring that you remain connected without interruptions. No matter what the router has to do to secure a connection, it will be presented as your main internet connection. Setting up the multi-WAN on the Spitz AX is pretty straightforward. When you first power up the router, you'll connect it to your primary internet source, which could be your mobile network. Once connected, you access the router's web interface through your browser by typing in its IP address, which you will find on the bottom. Here, you will find the multi-WAN settings. The interface allows you to add secondary internet sources. For instance, you can connect the router to a public Wi-Fi network or plug in an Ethernet cable from a wired Ethernet source. The configuration interface also provides options for setting up load balancing and failover. Load balancing allows the router to distribute internet traffic across all connected sources, optimizing the use of available bandwidth and improving overall internet performance in some cases. On the other hand, failover ensures that if your primary connection fails, the router will automatically switch to a backup connection, keeping you online without any manual intervention. As you travel, this setup proves invaluable. For instance, if you drive into a rural area where your mobile network becomes weak, the Spitz AX can switch to a stronger Wi-Fi signal or a wired connection if available. This dynamic switching is done in the background, ensuring a smooth internet experience without many noticeable interruptions. As a bit of a torture test, I decided to connect it to as many points as possible. I activated a SIM card, I connected to it by Ethernet LAN, and I joined it to the local Wi-Fi. Then I went a step further by plugging my iPhone into the USB port and then enabling manual tethering, giving me yet another internet source. And sure enough, the Spitz AX was able to manage them all at once. Overall, the multi-WAN feature of the Spitz AX provides peace of mind for those who require a reliable and continuous internet connection while on the move. In summary, failover is ideal for ensuring a backup connection in case of a primary connection failure, providing reliability and continuity, while load balancing is suited for enhancing internet performance by utilizing multiple connections concurrently. The choice between the two depends on your specific needs. If maintaining an uninterrupted connection is your top priority, then failover is the way to go. If you want to optimize bandwidth and improve speed, load balancing is the better option. However, in my experience, the difference in speed is usually so great between one and the other that you're better off just setting the fast one as primary, and that's how I always run it, and that's the default configuration. The USB port on the Spitz AX can be used for several purposes, each adding a layer of convenience and capability to your internet setup. One of the primary uses of the USB port, as mentioned earlier, is for tethering. Imagine you're in an area where your primary 5G is weak or unavailable. You can connect your smartphone to the Spitz AX using a USB cable and enable USB tethering on your phone. This setup allows the router to use your phone's mobile data connection as an internet source, providing a reliable alternative when other connections fail. This can be particularly useful in rural or remote areas where traditional internet sources might be unreliable. The USB port also supports USB cellular modems. So if you have a USB modem from your cellular provider, you can plug it directly into the router. This setup can offer a dedicated and often faster connection compared to using a smartphone for tethering. 
It provides flexibility in choosing the best available internet source, ensuring that you remain connected even in areas with limited connectivity options. And another significant use of the USB port is for connecting storage devices. You can plug in a USB flash drive or an external hard drive, transforming your router into a network-attached storage device, or NAS. This feature is incredibly useful for sharing files amongst multiple devices connected to the router. For example, if you're traveling with family or colleagues, you can store photos, videos, or documents on the connected drive and access them wirelessly from any device on the network. It's a convenient way to share large files without relying on cloud services, especially in areas with limited or expensive internet access. In addition to the USB port and the gateway, it also features a TF or micro SD port, and it supports cards up to one terabyte. But if you need more storage than that, the USB port is the way to go. A thumb drive is probably the easiest way, but I can, as an example, plug in this four terabyte external hard drive into the gateway. It's automatically and fully powered by the gateway over USB, so there's no additional wires. To make it available on the network, I enable Samba sharing and share out the contents of the drive. If I make that share public, everybody connected to the gateway will be able to see it. But you can even optionally share it back out to the internet if you needed to share the files with remote folks, or you can keep it local and then lock it down with user accounts and strong passwords, whichever is most appropriate to your use case. Either way, you've essentially created a NAS or network attached storage, a feature you pick up basically for free as a bonus with the Spitz AX. By now you might be wondering since you can use the USB port for tethering, a cellular modem, and storage, but there's only one port, so how does that work? Well, while I've been using the port almost exclusively for USB thumb drive myself, you might want to connect multiple things, and in my testing, the USB port can be used with a USB hub, allowing you to attach multiple devices simultaneously. For example, you could connect both a USB storage device and a USB cellular modem at the same time, expanding the router's functionality even further. This setup can be particularly useful when you need to maximize both connectivity options and storage capabilities at the same time. Most folks, though, likely won't need a hub. If you found today's episode to be any combination of informative or entertaining, remember that I'm mostly in this for the subs and the likes, so I'd be honored if you consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a like on the video. And if you're already subscribed, thanks. Please do check out the free sample of my new book on Amazon, The Non-Visible Part of the Autism Spectrum. It's intended for folks that don't have an ASD diagnosis, but who suspect they might have a few characteristics that put them somewhere on the spectrum. It's everything I know now about living a successful life on the spectrum that I wish I'd known long ago. Check it out at the link in the video description. In the meantime and in between time, I hope to see you next time right here in Dave's Garage.